Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Hey everybody, welcome to The Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad. Joining me today, my pal, Brittany Bolt. And we are on assignment on location at the Yum Factory here with Brittany Meyer, uh, here to talk about some awesome events, some great specials, and just some really cool stuff uh, that is happening. And we talked before we, we kicked on the camera about, is this too much to talk about? Oh, I think when you have so much uh, stuff, you gotta let everybody know, give them the opportunity to get in on it, right? Take your word for it. That's right, okay. so. Uh, we'll start with, we were, we're a little bit behind. We wanted to announce the birthday of the month uh, for February, February, right? Yeah. yeah. But uh, delays happen, better late than never. So we're going to draw a name out of the uh, St. Patty's Day pad. There's yeah. a lot of entries in here. I know, it's exciting. Hundreds. There were a lot of people. Literally hundreds. Yeah, I love the engagement. So okay. So let's see. Lucky winner. Let's see if I can read my own handwriting. Sue, Sue Wolf Jeff Jeff Coat. Coat. She celebrated her birthday on February 19th. Yay, congratulations, Yay. Sue Wolf Jeff Coat. Yeah. yeah, happy that's, birthday. That's exciting. So now remind uh, the viewers, the listeners, what that means for, for Sue. Sue gets to come to the Yum Factory and collect her... Dozen cupcakes. Yes. Dozen cupcakes. Delicious cupcakes. Yes. Um, so talking about cupcakes, of course, uh, on, a, on a regular basis, you can get any kind of tasty, tr tasty treat, cookies, macarons, cupcakes, big cakes, anything for any special occasion or just for any day at the bakery, which is right next door, right? Yep. Yep. Or you can come into the Yum Factory and have a delicious cocktail like one of these that we're about to try today or lunch. Uh, or lunch. They just offer so much stuff and uh, events. Right, so that's one of the things we're here to talk about today. Uh, you have so much stuff coming up, you know, this weekend, but then also moving into the Easter season, there's just so much stuff. So that's why we were saying we want to fit it all in. We want to let everybody know what's going on. Okay. All right. So uh, first up, you have it's it's kind of a mix. It's a murder mystery uh, conclusion. We'll say, and I'll let you explain that in just a minute. But also along with that is uh, carbless which I think a lot of people have seen, but maybe don't really know what it is. So yep. give us a rundown if you would. So um, Carbless has just hit the market here. It's um, hitting store shelves this week, and then you'll see it in some area bars. But what we wanted to do was really provide um, the community with a place to try it before you buy it. Um, and so we're, we're gonna be hosting that uh, tasting event here um, Saturday. So anytime Saturday, nine to five, um, we're going to show you all of the flavors of Carbless. There's one, two, three, four. There's eight different flavors. We've tried them all. Research and development <laughs> is the worst part of my job Yay! here, of course. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're also shaking it up a little bit, and we're going to offer some tastings with some delicious mixed cocktails yes, using the Carbless. Carb Carbless cocktail concoctions. Yes. yes. Oh. That's Say it three times. No. Right? No. <laughs> we don't it. know. <laughs> so we are going to taste these. But before we get to that real quick, just we'll have to hold off just a little another okay. bit. Just, okay. Yeah. So we're talking about the uh, Murder Mystery Summit conclusion. Um, Let's Vanna White this. Yeah, Vanna White this because, and when I saw it on Facebook, so you can learn a little bit more about this event and any other event that the Yum Factory is holding if you go to their Facebook page. Uh, but this is really, really cool. So you guys have been doing... Uh, murder mystery events leading up to this conclusion. Yep, and so this is a succession. Six session, session. not say a succession. Say that three times. Six. Piece. Not one, two, three, four, six. Five, but art. Six. Yeah. Um, event and so we've done um, some murder mysteries from um, I was trying to open it that's why I took it from yeah you. that's all right it won't do it that's fine. no um, so people have come in and they've done like um, week one and week two mm -hmm. so in this event on Saturday we're going to complete all of the rest of you're gonna find out who done it uh-huh okay from beginning to end so if you missed the first couple that we did you're still going to be able to start you're going to get all of the yep. excitement and the conclusion. Yep. yep. And if you've come to, uh, you know, the first couple or the first few, come and find out who done it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's really for everybody. Uh, and then along with that, then of course you have, um, you know, these tasty concoctions, none of uh, which are, 
I, I, no, I'm going to say my favorite is the Boozy Lotus. So if you didn't watch last time, they offered Yum Factory offers these delicious Boozy Lotus drinks that are now my uh, jam. Oh man, you're just my kryptonite. Anyway, um, so real quick to get in on the murder mystery is that so there is um, on on our Facebook page there is a link to purchase your tickets. You okay. absolutely have to have a ticket in order to participate in the murder mystery. Okay. Um, you can stop in any time throughout the day um, and not take part in the murder mystery and still um, take part have in the fun. car bliss, concoction, creation, creation cocktails. cocktails. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. CCC. <laughs> what she said. Yeah. So, and that's what we're gonna take part in right now. We're gonna taste some of the concoctions that people can sample uh, on Saturday, right? And then, uh, not to like cut this off again, but then after Saturday, after you have your fill of carbless concoctions, oh, cocktail so concoctions, good. right? Uh, then you can come in and have a delicious breakfast the following day. Yeah, so Sunday, we're typically not open on Sundays, but we're gonna do it because we're really big on um, St. Pat's. Um, and we want to kick that off with a breakfast buffet. So we're gonna do awesome. biscuits and gravy, scrambled eggs, bacon, fruit. Um, and some delicious traditional Irish drinks. Um, so whether you party too hard on Saturday and you need to maybe uh, feed your hangover or you're planning on really partying on St. Pat's, yeah. we're gonna be the place that you can build your base. I there love you that. go, build, build your base. Your or if you're brave enough to get out for 505, you can come here for lunch After, yeah. Lunch yeah. yeah, I think it's lunch, is it lunch at 9 a.m.? I think so. it is. Yeah. That's five. four hours. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, you'll have plenty of opportunities to visit the Yum Factory, and I totally recommend it. There is just so much going on here all the time. Uh, but, you know, the tasty drinks, food, awesome events, you guys just do it all here, which is, is so cool. Well, so thank you. give us a run through of what we have, because not only do I love the look of this, but the colors, they're just beautiful. So. Well, and that's kind of, that's what we like about everything when we pair food and alcohol is the way that they go together and making them beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, so, what we we wanted to bring on the carbless, it's a it's a zero carb, zero sugar, hundred calorie. And when you reach a certain age, and we don't have to talk about what age that is, you have to be a little more conscious, conscious about what you're consuming, especially in your afternoon um, cocktails. Yes. So. Um, what we really liked about this is how we could use it with some of our most favorite alcohols to mix some awfully delicious. Uh, Even stronger cocktails, <laughs> so right? Did you make these cocktails or did they? Um, do it? I, can I plead the fifth? Yeah. yeah okay. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, can we, can I lie? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, yeah, I, made, I can't totally came up with this. <laughs> she made up, she made all these up. Okay, so give us the first one. So we are, are, what you're drinking is definitely different than what we're gonna be drinking, right? No, we're all gonna drink the same thing. Okay, all right, let's see it. Um, so the first thing in this shaker here, we're using the um, crayon apple with, well, we're, gonna, we're making a crayon apple. We're using the cranberry carbless with um, an apple whiskey, this William Wolf apple whiskey. Okay, oh. let's try it. And so this is called the crayon apple. That's where I got a little mixed the up. The crayon apple, perfect. It is pretty. It is gorgeous. All right, so once again, like carbless, zero carb, zero sugar, right? Which zero, cal is it zero calorie or am I making that up? 100 calorie. Okay. But mm -hmm. not That's good, but That's not zero taste. That's right, there you go. Oh, that's. Wow, that's delicious. That's refreshing. That really good. Mm -hmm. Not okay. too sweet, a little tart. That is really good. It's delicious. I think you made the carbless better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, mine's gone. <laughs> that bodes well for carbless. Okay. Yes. Next. All right, next we've got, and this is my favorite. Um, this is a winter sangria. So we're using, again, the crayon. Okay. okay. With Prosecco. Okay. okay. So bubbly and bring bring down the, the sweet a little bit. Okay. Mix it with a little wine. Cheers, Socially yeah. acceptable in the morning. <laughs> yes, 100%. Cheers. Delicious. Yep. It's a nice balance. I'm not normally one for Prosecco, but this offers like a little bit of flavor. 
Yeah, it's like flavor <laughs> and almost a little bit of, I don't want to say bite, but it kind of brings it out a little bit. So it's yeah. not so sweet. Yeah. It's delicious. I love it. Nice work. All right, next. I have to try it again. Yeah, I have, I have to, to try it again. <laughs> Me too. Taste testing for the second time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was still good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next is PB and J. Okay. So this is um, Tennessee peanut butter whiskey and the uh, what? black raspberry. Okay. Now I gotta say, peanut Bring butter it in, whiskey Ashley. has. Uh, <laughs> peanut butter whiskey has gotten me in the past. Oh, me too. Yeah. If you what were, peanut butter whiskey was that again? I'm sorry. Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. Yep. Wow. That's like oh, a that's fantastic. Bubbly peanut butter and jelly. That's also, so if you are familiar with peanut butter whiskey, it can be kind of thick. Thick. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this yep. definitely cuts Breaks that. Breaks it up. Yeah. yeah. It's delicious. The bubbles I recommend like, it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Especially if you like peanut butter and jelly. That's fantastic. It kind of summers up the peanut butter whiskey because that's something that you Yeah, it makes like. it a little lighter. Yeah. Light and refreshing. Yeah. It's delicious. Nice work. All right. Very nice. Are you the last and final? Yeah. Is well, we sad? have to down oh, yeah. these. Yeah, we have to down oh, these to okay. finish. I was like, what are we doing? Down, here? The, <laughs> down the hat. <laughs> For all of you watching, our field trips to the Yum Factory really are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, you're, you pour that one. Okay. And so this one is uh, my other favorite. Okay. <laughs> and this is pineapple apps upside down. Ooh, I love pineapple upside down. So this is the pineapple carbless okay. with cake vodka. Ooh. Yes. You're speaking my language here, sister. All right. And all these, again, are available at the Yum Factory, right? They all are. the time. I mean, yeah. anybody can come in anytime, not just the Saturday. And you get to try before you buy on yeah. Saturday. Saturday. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. That's like cake. Oh, Please. my gosh. Like literally tastes, tastes like, like cake. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I would have a hard time picking. So now if somebody comes in and, do, and does this um, sample like event, do How they have to get tickets for that? Get? Nope. You just come in. It depends on your behavior. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> She's screwed. I'm okay. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. So, and then of course, you know, while we're finishing our uh, concoctions, our carbless cocktail concoctions, Let's roll into Easter because we know that, of course, everybody loves St. Patrick's Day. It's fun, but Easter is... They crammed it in there on March. Right? They did. It's a little <laughs> bit late, but Easter is, you know, there's a reason for the season and everybody likes to celebrate in their own different way, but uh, there's never a shortage of events or um, goodies that you can get for your kiddos or for, you know, the adult, the, the special adults in your life. So I love that you've kind of covered the entire gamut of... Uh, March. <laughs> well, and not just that, but like the people that you can buy for. So yeah, when you think of sweet treats, I mean, of course, everybody loves them. But when you're thinking of decorated cookies or, you know, little uh, cupcakes, a lot of people think kids, not necessarily so because I love them all. But um, you can get not only the, the kiddos some treats, but you have something coming up for Easter that you can get for your adult. Yes, it was so gift lovers as well for sure. So we have um, we've partnered with um, Sweet Pea uh, Petals to offer uh, an Easter basket with a bouquet of flowers and for cookies from uh, the Yum Factory. It's adorable. It's beautiful. It's so cute. Yeah, and then we will also have um, adult Easter baskets um, here in the bakery for sale as well. When you say adult, that means I definitely don't mean like Chelsea adult. I mean like <laughs> oh, a bottle of wine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, chocolate. Okay. Um, so, I mean, if you have to have a liquor license to sell. That's all I mean. There you go. <laughs> Adult in that matter. Thanks Either for, way. Thanks for asking. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I was wondering. Okay. Like, people are coming in and they're like, 
super let down because we don't have no okay. no but you guys have Where's the chocolate no yeah. but here is dark chocolate it's an aphrodisiac so you start here uh -huh. and then you move there on and then you, what you do with the rest of your day is it's none of your none of my business yes exactly your easter bouquets though you have an order for those they have to be done by i think it was i saw march 23rd yeah all right yeah that is correct because i'm gonna order a couple okay. of those yeah <laughs> perfect and those so, we are actually putting a limit on okay so Wait, um, I, I can only order yeah one. i would uh, no i mean like the quantity that we have sold oh, okay. so if you're going to i would do it now all right fine good to know good to know and if you're planning on attending any of the events make sure to mark your calendar get tickets if you need for the murder mystery uh definitely get your orders in because if i have learned anything it's that you don't do, i mean everything goes fast because yes. every, i mean everything is in high demand which is an awesome problem to have but it also does pose a problem if you're a procrastinator like me <laughs> so Mark your calendars for all of the cool events that are happening. Check Yum, the Yum Factory's Facebook page. Stop by here for some tasty uh, cocktails or lunch. Uh, and just check out everything they have to offer. It is just, I mean, it's endless and uh, the people here are pretty awesome too. So. Well, thank you. You're so welcome. We love it when you guys are here. Wow, we like coming here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Who wouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. So check out the Yum Factory uh, and check out their Facebook page for anything they have coming up. Speaking of coming up, coffee talk. Stay tuned. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. Kelly's has been a fun place to eat and drink in Quincy since 1982. A fun and friendly atmosphere, food with flavor, homemade cinnamon rolls, and famous cheese soup. The best menu in town. Kelly's 2902 Broadway, Quincy. The Tower, a great place to meet and eat. But did you know the Tower has one of the finest drink selections in our area? Along with its incredible Mexican menu, the Tower specializes in tequilas for every taste. Names like Patron, Cabo Wabo, and Hornitos. And don't forget the margaritas. On Mondays and Tuesdays, stop by and pick up a single topping pizza and get Tower Margaritas to go. Enjoy the Tower at home or in our dining room, bar area, or the Tower's signature climate-controlled porch. The Tower Pizza and Mexican in Quincy. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. What kind of shows will you see on Muddy River Gems each month? The same award-winning storytelling from Mark McDonald and crew that you enjoyed for nearly 20 years on PBS. Muddy River Gems with host Mark McDonald. A new episode every month online from Muddy River News. And welcome back. Now it's time for <laughs> coffee talk or boozy lotus drink yes. talk, right? Uh, and of course, we're at the Yum Factory. Sorry, you're seeing this on Thursday because we had a special field trip to the Yum Factory, of course. We did a little uh, switcheroo on yeah, you. Yeah, so hope you're keeping up. <laughs> uh, speaking of keeping up, tonight is uh, the TIFF City Meeting. Yes, so it's basically an open forum yep. for citizens of Quincy to come and share their uh thoughts, approvals, grievances about the TIFs that are in place. Uh, and I'm sure by now, if you are a regular listener or uh, watcher of Coffee Talk, you know what that is, yeah. right? Uh, if not, come to the meeting tonight and, and figure out, get, get a little more information. Uh, if, if there's nothing, 
if we do nothing but inform you so that you can make uh, you know your, your own decision. Your own informed decision. Yes. However, I mean, it is ultimately up to the city and this it is the city's decision. I mean, it's the appointed aldermen uh, yes. who you appoint who are making this decision. So if you know stuff about the TIF, if you are on board with it, cool. Let your alderman, alder person, whatever you prefer, let them know. If you are against it, let them know. Don't forget they speak for their constituents. Uh, also, if you're supposed to, right? Um, and that is at 7 p.m. tonight at City Hall. Right, and yeah. it's not making. They're not making a decision tonight. It's basically just to hear the public and have the public hear uh, more specifics on what it is, what it aims to do, and uh, how it works. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which you know, if you're like most people, you may be tired of hearing about it, but you still do have a vested interest in it as a uh, local taxpayer. So. Inform yourself and have your voice heard because that's that's Absolutely. our job, right? Yes, it is our job. Yes. Or you could just scream, stop talking about politics yeah. and ignore it all. That's and, some people, but yeah. you know. That's not us. No, it's not us. So you'll probably see us there. Yeah. So uh, yeah, go do diligence, right? Yeah. Go, go have your voice heard and at least be uh, informed on the, on the topic. Something else to be informed about, St. Patrick's Day. 505. All right, so. Is that a Quincy thing? I think it's everywhere. I don't know that. Have you ever done a 505? I have not because I like my sleep. Yeah. But I have heard that it is like a kind of a local thing. Is it? I, I don't think most people get up at 505 most, in the morning around the country. They're not that dedicated? I don't think so. You should look that up. I'm I, pretty sure this is like kind of a local. I wonder if they do it in Ireland. See, here's my thing. Like, if Quincy does nothing, we, we celebrate. Man, we know how to celebrate. And. Uh, nothing wrong with celebrating. In fact, I think you should celebrate every day because every day is amazing, but uh, celebrate smart, yes. right? Because uh, no one wants to wake up to hear of uh, mm -hmm. any accident or, or worse than that. So, so make your plans ahead of time. Yeah, make your plans ahead of time. Get a sober driver. Uh, figure out where you're going to go. Speaking of where to go. Okay. Um, we have a, a list of places, I think. Uh, one of them is one of our new friends, O'Shea's on the north side of town is okay. offering a full breakfast. So, you know, if delicious you, food. Yes. Great drinks. Full bar. Yes. Yeah. They have the juicy juice. Yeah. Uh, it's like the best. If, you, if you're not a Bloody Mary person, this is the morning drink. It is. Yeah. The old B&R's drink is what they're using. That another bit of Quincy history for you is O'Shea's is the old B&R's. They serve up their juicy juices. It's good. Get one of those. If you need need one, you know. Yeah, everybody needs one. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Come on. And then uh, you can get some great food there too. Uh, and then, of course, you want to hit scoreboard to try. The big 505. 505, right? And then. That if, Muddy River News has helped create. Yeah, I, like. I think it was kind of, uh, I don't want to say a regret on his part after it kind of flew out of his mouth, but once you say we're going to open for 505, there's no real in that back end. Yeah. So he is officially on board with it, uh, and we're inviting everybody to go. You may or may not see uh, some of the Muddy Buddies, but uh, we're going to be there uh, partaking in some, hopefully, green beer and yeah. some maybe some some shots and some Guinness. Or, well, I don't even yeah, know what all they're going to have. But Jimmy's Pickle Shots. Yep. Jim, oh, Jimmy's Pickle Shots. That's why I said I was like, there. I can turn down most shots. Pickle Shots are not those. Yes. I, can, I cannot turn those down. Also, of course, you got to try Jimmy's Gravy, right? Biscuits and Gravy. Uh, again, solid foundation for the booze that you're going to drink the entire day or if you're like me till 9 a.m. And then you're going to go home <laughs> and, and take a nap. nap. Yeah, yeah, and wake up and be like, oh my God, what day is it? And luckily yes. it's a Sunday, so you don't have anywhere to be until Monday morning, yeah. right? So it's perfect. Yeah, if you're going to celebrate, celebrate smart, make your plans ahead of time, get a DD, line somebody up to uh, make sure that you get home safe and sound, whether it's 9 a.m., 9 p.m., 3 a.m., we don't care. But celebrate, it's awesome. Uh, and again, tonight, make sure you hit up the TIFF meeting. Uh, get yourself informed, uh, speak out, have your voice heard. That's what we're here for. It's our job, right? So, yes, and then go get yourself a boozy lotus the next, the man, next morning. You, these things, you can tell that I like mine. It's <laughs> fantastic. It I definitely really re recommend it. The Yum Factory uh, here at uh, 25th and Broadway. You can't go wrong. They have so many events. So uh, hopefully you watched our previous uh, segment. If not, hit that rewind button, check it out. <laughs> and hopefully we'll see you tonight at the TIFF meeting. And if not, hopefully we'll see you Sunday at Scoreboard or O'Shea's. Yeah. All right.
think that does it for today's Coffee Talk. Talk. We'll catch you here next time.